Libra, come on in, put your feet up, make yourselves at home. My name is Jen Dawson, welcome to Jen TV. All right, so your word for the day is addiction. It's what I've been meditating on. I don't want to use that deck, I want to use this. No, I don't. We're going to go old school. <laughs> go right away. All right. So, addiction for you, Libra. <clears throat> Let's take a look at that. What's the universe on about here with addiction? Bear in mind, well, this is a general reading, so it's not going to resonate with all of you. But if it does, take a look at the description box below. There's a link to my Patreon if you want to watch extended videos. There is also a link to my website if you want to book a private reading. There's a lot of scammers out there, so the only way you're going to get a legitimate reading with me is if you hit that link below to my website, gentvtarot.com. Any other way, if I'm coming to you, that's not me. If that's someone trying to scam you, you have to come to me. All right? All right. Universe cards. Let's, uh, let's find out what you're on about. Phil Libra, please. Addiction for Libra. All right. New setup. Okay. Interesting. I just saw, saw the uh, layout in my head. All right. Go for that then. So in the recent past, <clears throat> we have the star, we have the six of wands, and we have the page of pentacles in reverse. The current energies we've got. Are pretty interesting at the moment and in the near future we've got the Libra an addiction and in the near future we have So in the recent past we've got the star, the six of wands and the page of pentacles in reverse. The star is like, it's, it's beautiful, it's like you have hope. It's, it's... I'm seeing something really beautiful kind of happening here. A real moment, a real spiritual moment with somebody, a real connection. And uh, with the six of six of wands here, look at all these people looking at this person. They're all kind of looking up. They're all like, "Wow, you're awesome!" And they're like, "Yeah, I'm winning." But then there's I sort of see this person in the shadows here. You can't quite see all of them. It's it's almost like, you know, when everybody's life, or well, most people's anyway, looks so awesome on social media. Like, yeah, I'm so happy. I went to this awesome place today. Look how freaking happy I am. Look how fun everything is. It sort of looks like that. But what you're not really seeing is the real person. It's, they're hidden. I'm sort of seeing that. So it's like, it's like you met someone really special, really like, they're not like other people, they're extraordinary, you know, you met somebody like that, it's something extraordinary. Why is the page of pentacles in reverse here? Yeah. 
this person this is where the word addiction's coming from i think this person was like really special you've got the world here you sort of that's very focused on them they're like they're your world almost they're your universe this that's them right in the center of the card but then we've got the chariot reverse we've got eight of cups just not working out it just with the, with the page of pentacles in reverse i just feel like as special as this person was to you it didn't go anywhere it's almost like uh, it was unrequited but that sort of caused this this is all this is all like um these are the traumas that we've had in our lives that have, have made us run towards rejection. You're rejecting me, okay, I'll... Uh, if, I, if I'm this, if I make myself a bit more like this, will you love me now? Will you, will you want me now? If I, if I can be more like how you want me to be? That's, that's the sort of traumas that we're looking to heal here. This is, this is what we do on Jet TV Tarot. We, we take a look at the stuff we don't want to look at in ourselves and go, all right, I better, I better give that a good healing. Oh, that's not very pleasant, is it? All right, let's, let's take this ride. Let's go for this ride and, oh, it's going to be uncomfortable. But when we get to the side, oh, it's going to be good. We're going to be better. We're going to be healed, right? This is kind of what it looks like. You sort of got addicted to this person. I <laughs> walked away waving a big old red flag as well. The current energy, let's take a look at this. So we've got the world, we've got the three of cups and hold on, let me pick them up and show you. I know you like to see them. We've got the world, we've got the three of cups, and we've got the seven of cups. So this is still kind of, this is still where you're at now. You're still, they're still the center of your universe. They're the way you think about. God, oh, they're beautiful, they're amazing. They, uh, they're everything you want in a person. That's just an illusion there, my love. You're projecting onto this person's all the goodies that they don't really have. Why is the Three of Cups here? In fact, you know what? Let's just clarify all of it. Clarify the world here. I don't even know what that means. I do know what it is. I do need to clarify. This is your person. This is like, oh! This is your person! And they've cut you off. They're not giving you jack. They've given you nothing. They're not interested. And that is... It's making you... Oh, so many words. It's making you... Oh, you dark knight. You, go, you want a dark knight of the soul here. Oh! I'm not seeing twin flame cards, but this, is, this hurts for sure. They're not talking to you, you're breathless, you're like uh, fight or flight, you can't breathe, you can't think, you can't, I uh, uh, can't function, all I can do is think about them and why don't they want me, why, why, why has this happened? The rest of three of cups here. not really important it's trivial I'll tell you anyway but it's, uh, it's sort of trivial I'll tell you anyway but I want to go just go to the, to the seven of cups I want to see if it is important or not it doesn't look it 
why would it be in the cards if it's not important? So this is what I'm thinking. Doesn't add up. So. I guess it's coming back to this. They're putting on this show. It's not trivial. It does make sense. They're putting on this show in their life. That everything's great. Everything's fine. Everything's... They're, they're very happy. Everything's marvellous. It's not. It's not and they won't accept that it's not. You can't accept that this person doesn't want to be in your life. They can't accept that their life isn't awesome. <laughs> they can't accept. Oh, it's, it's like somebody in their life has a hold over them. And they're not showing that. Someone's got a big hold over them and they're, they're like, nope, that's, that's not for the public to see. We'll just breeze past that. Everything's fine. What's coming in for you is, you know, you've got options here. You can, you can date other people. You can be seeing other people. That's cool. You can be, you can be doing that. That's great. But all you can think about here is them and, and that th you want them. You can't accept it. But you're not on their radar. That's what's going on right now. You're not even on their radar. And the less on their radar you are, the more addicted you are to this person. So what's going on in the near future? You're kidding yourself, is the universe saying. Baby, you're kidding yourself. And you're like, well, no, I'm not, because they sent me this message last week or or they posted this thing up on their Instagram that was like totally relevant to, to me. And it's obviously a message to me. They didn't like say it directly to me, but, you know, I think they just they're trying to tell me something. They're not. We've got knights in, in reverse here. They're not. Talk to me about this. Come on, Carl. Talk to me. It's like what you feel for them, it's not real, my love. It's time for you to move past this and detach with the devil reverse. It's time for you to. If this person had any sort of like communication with you in the past, I sort of feel like they were kind of chasing uh, validation. Not exactly from you, but like, I want to know that I'm still attractive. Oh yeah, I got this person's attention. Great, okay, cool, I could carry on. Why is the Six of Pentacles here? That's uh, this, I don't like the Six of Pentacles here in this position. I kind of feel like maybe, It's almost like they, they might possibly throw you a little breadcrumb here and there. Like they might post something up, it might be relevant to you, but they're not saying anything to you. They're not going, hey Libra, here's a message from me to you. It's just a little teensy breadcrumb. And they know that they'll hook you back in, so they do it, but they're not willing to put the work in to have a relationship with you. The obstacle in the way to you having something with this person is you. Let it go. Walk away from it. Hold on, guys. Hold on. 
Sorry, sorry. I'm back. It sort of looks like what the problem here is, what's in the way of you being with this person is you. You need to release yourself from this. You need to let it go. You need to just move on from it. If it's going to happen, it's going to happen. If it's not, it's not. You just need to, I don't know, just not focus so much on it. Okay. Your addiction here to this person, though, is any little like, breadcrumb they throw your way. Is like, yes, finally they said something, they did something. Let it go. You're stuck on this person. And the only way you have any chance of getting this person is by not being stuck on them. But that doesn't mean you're gonna get them. <laughs> Excuse me. Just had a sandwich doesn't mean you're gonna get this person but it just means you're not gonna be so full of anxiety about it this connection fulfilling your karma with this person whether you're running out of time or not you know all the things that sort of are stressing you about being with them and not being with them it doesn't matter let it go. I'm going to take this into extended and say, I'm going to ask about this person. I'm going to ask a bit deeper, like, whether there is some kind of future with them, you know? I want to know how they feel about you. Where are you in their heart space? What are their intentions towards you? What do they want to say to you? Some guidance from the universe. Let's, uh... What it looks like though is that's all irrelevant. Letting them go is the only way you're gonna find any peace. It's not even letting them go, it's just like releasing your addiction to this person. Whether they react, whether they don't, whether they say something to you, whether they don't, it doesn't matter. Just release it. Nothing yet is set in stone. Oh, I feel like I'm pulling another one here. A new start is coming. Excellent. I kind of feel this. It's not the right time with this person. Whatever they're going through in their life, it's not the right time right now. Doesn't mean it's not going to be the right time later on, though. But that also doesn't mean it will be the just like let go of the power over you that this this has over you i can't get my words out let go of the power that this has over you that's what i want to say and your song of the day is nobody knows me the way that you do you know how hard it is for me to shake the disease that takes hold of my tongue in situations like these shake the disease by depeche mode total tune i love it all right don't forget to like, subscribe and hit that notification bell. And if you want to watch the extended, take a look in the description box below. There's a link to my Patreon. You'll find the video there. Thanks a lot, my love. See you later.